Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to download Ubuntu Desktop 12.04 LTS and burn an Ubuntu image file. Image file allows you to start up and install Ubuntu from a CD or DVD. The outcomes for this video are download Ubuntu Desktop 12.04 LTS to an Ubuntu virtual machine. Now you can download to a hardware machine but in this case I'm using an Ubuntu virtual machine in VirtualBox. Because of that I've got to have some extra VirtualBox settings in order for everything to work. If you're using a hardware machine you don't have to go through these extra settings. Then burn the Ubuntu image using a Bracero disk utility that comes with Ubuntu and finally verify that the Ubuntu image works by restarting the computer using the Ubuntu image. Requirements, of course, are an internet connection, an Ubuntu desktop, a CD or DVD drive, and CD, DVD burning software such as Bracero. And you can find additional info at uh, howtoubuntu.org. To download Ubuntu desktop, simply go to your web browser and then www.ubuntu.com download slash desktop. Let's click on the start download. In this case we're going to do the 32-bit download. Click on start download. And up will pop this screen you've chosen to open. And we're going to say save file. And simply click OK. And you'll notice up here now it says there's 52 minutes remaining. We're not going to wait. You're not going to watch this whole 52 minutes of this. Simply come back when it's downloaded and continue uh, with uh, what, uh, with burning the desktop. You'll notice on the download page you've got Ubuntu One. This is where you have uh, cloud storage, Ubuntu Advantage, paid support, and ask Ubuntu where you can go to forums and ask questions about Ubuntu. So those that's those are that's a support option that's that's free. And you can also uh take a look at the documentation or get a live support chat. Um, and this is where you uh basically uh sign up for uh joining the Ubuntu community where you can get into the forums and ask questions and give answers. Now that the file is almost uh, downloaded, what we're going to do is wait these few re remaining seconds and then check and make sure that it's in our downloads directory. Now it's download is complete, so we're simply going to close this and I'm going to close the browser, go to the home folder. Go to the downloads directory and verify, and here is our desktop. Since uh, I'll be using a virtual machine to burn the image, in this case VirtualBox virtual machine, there has to be some settings that you have to check before you can use the DVD or CD drive. In this case, it'd be the base Ubuntu, and then we go to storage, and IDE controller, and we'll go to host drive D. And in this case, we're going to make sure that this pass through is checked. What pass through does, it allows us to uh, guess to send a topic commands directly to host drive, which makes it possible to use CD DVD writers. And we're going to check host drive D. So once those those two are checked, simply click OK. Those are the settings that we have to have because the host drive D is a CD DVD drive on the uh, uh, on the uh, hardware machine. Here it is. Now we're ready to go ahead and uh, start the virtual machine and burn the image. Of course, we have to log in.
Once we're logged in, we can check and make sure that CD host drive D is selected. Now we can also go over here to your home folder, click on this, and you should see devices blank D. In this case, I've already put in a uh, blank DVD drive. I don't have uh, any blank CDs. You should use just a write one time drive because this is this is an image that you don't want to have uh, damaged by somebody writing, writing over it. To burn an image to disk, we'll go over here to Dash Home. And you may not have, we're going to use the Bracero Disk Burner, but you may not have this uh, showing on yours. So one little caveat, if you push in D-I-S-K disk, it will not show up. So if you want to burn your D-I-S-K, but if you want to burn your D-I-S-C, there it is. So do a search, and there it is. And then we're going to start this. And we are going to burn an image. Simply click on burn an image. Click here to select an image. In this case, we're going to go to Mike Downloads. Select the ISO file. Click open. And I'm using a blank DVD right once disk. Uh, I would use a CD, but I, I don't have one that uh, is right once. And once I select this, I'm going to click burn. And it's going to burn this image to disk. It'll take a few minutes. I'll come back when it's uh, complete. Once the image is been burned. We've got a few finalizing steps to take care of. Essentially what it's doing is checking to make sure that everything has um, been burned correctly. And here it says burning disk when 100% done. And it could not be ejected. It needs to be, so we're going to go cancel here. And image successfully burned to DVD, success. And we're going to click close. And close Bracero. And shut down. And then we're going to restart using the disk image that we've uh, burned. In this case, we want to go to our system. Make sure that uh, in the boot order we have CD, DVD, ROM because it's still in there. Click OK and then start the machine. Of course, uh, starting from a CD or DVD disk is a lot slower than starting from the uh, hard drive. And here is the welcome screen where we can try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu, and this is uh, directly from the image that has just been burned. So that's how to download uh, Ubuntu Desktop and burn an image to a CD or DVD. Thank you.